Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I've gotten a lot of questions lately about study tips for accounting um, and what I've done in the past through my bachelor's degree to um, do well. And so I decided to make this video to kind of help you guys out. These tips can honestly be used for any degree. Um, I've used these same tips for a completely different um, certification. So this is not something that you need to use specifically for accounting. You could use it for anything. But I just want to um, point this out really quickly that everybody has their own study style and some things that work for me may not work for you. So I'm just sharing what I did. Um, if you don't know, I majored in accounting for my bachelor's degree and then I am currently going back to school for my MBA right now. In both degrees, I've had extremely high GPA, so I feel like I've really narrowed down what works for me study-wise. So hopefully these tips can help you guys. So if you haven't already um, watched my video on my Erin Condren surprise box for fall, you should. I got these marker markers, hopefully I'm not spoiling anything for anybody, but I got these markers, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, so. The first thing that I normally do when it comes to my studying process is before my class that we go over anything, before we even discuss the chapter or the material, the first thing that I do is I read. I read the chapter or the material, um, whatever the case may be, and the key to this is you do it before, before, key, before class. So um, let's say what, nor what normally happened was every week we would go over a chapter or two chapters. And so that weekend before I had class, I would read the chapter that we were going to be covering. And I wrote down any questions that I had on the material. This is huge because for me, and I've heard a lot of people say this too, in accounting, you really need to digest the information. And if you just go to class and try and learn a whole chapter in a couple, in an hour or less, it's going to be hard. So really go over the chapter, read everything when you have time, don't rush through it. Um, and again, the key is to do it before. That is huge. Um, then, of course, you would have class where your professor would highlight the main points of the, of the chapter. And after that is when you would start working, doing your homework or working problems. So that's the second key that I have is to work the problems until you get them, until you get the correct answer. And a lot of my problems were actually online. So I would do the problem, I would submit it right away, and then you'd get you would get your response right away. If you miss something or not, usually we had like three chances. And so I would, I would work with one of my classmates and we would have six chances total then. And so that is another point to the second tip, which is to either do it by yourself, which I sometimes like to do homework by myself, or do it with a friend or classmate. Um, for me, doing it with a friend helped me because if I had any questions or I wasn't sure about something, usually my friend could help me understand it or vice versa, I could help her understand it. Um, so definitely, and maybe in between I should just put class just so that you know. I feel like that's a main thing is you want to read before class and then you want to really focus on the problems after your class. Um, so. Once you do that, once you work the problems, there might be a few that you are not sure about, a few concepts that you're not too sure about. And that that is what brings me to um, ask questions. And this is a huge point because you don't want to go, you don't want to be going through class without knowing something. If you are not sure about something, if something confuses you, you should definitely ask. And Really, I think working the problems helps you realize what you're not sure about because in accounting, you know, like usually one thing builds off the other, off the other. So if you miss one part, you could completely screw up a whole test question or homework question. So ask questions and you could do this with friends. Again, you could ask questions for your friends. You can go into office hours for your professor, um, all of that stuff. So just make sure at this point, you know what's happening. If there's something you're not sure about, make sure you're asking. Um, and then the last step is 
what to do before your exam. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I have the windows open, so um, I hope it's not too loud. I'm trying to speak loudly. So the first thing that I would do before an exam is to ask for a study guide from your professor. Sometimes professors have study guides already. Um, other times they don't mention it and then you ask for one and they give you one. So definitely ask for that because this has helped me a ton. Just knowing what they think is important or what they're planning on putting on the exam is huge because then you know what to study. Um, if you're not an accounting student right now and you are going to be in the future, you'll see those chapters are 30 pages long and they're not easy reads. There's a lot of material. So, um, you know, getting an idea of what they're covering is huge. The next thing that I would do, and I do this every time I'm studying for any type of test, is to redo homework problems. This is huge, 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 because a lot of my accounting exams were pretty much the same exact questions, just different numbers or different names. Um, a few of them would have like something small that we really didn't go over too much that the professor wanted to see if you read the chapter. But really, I mean, I would say this was the majority of my studying was just redoing homework problems. Because if you understand the homework, you are pretty good for the test. That is huge. Um, the next thing that I would say is if you're still not sure about something or you forgot something that you weren't sure about before, um, I would either reread that section in the book or um, talk to your professor. Because the exam is one, and sorry for my handwriting, you know in these videos, if you watch my videos, as time goes on, as I'm trying to like explain things, my handwriting just gets worse. So I'm sorry if that bugs you, but that's just kind of how it is. Um, but anyway, this is the point where you really need to know the material. Um, not necessarily because you're going to need this stuff in your work, because a lot of stuff that I've learned in class I don't actually use in my, a current, my current accounting job. Um, and a lot of stuff that you learn to do, like other software or um, systems do for you. So that's not the main reason. The main reason is you want to make sure you're doing well on the exams because jobs look at your grades. That's a huge part of it. If they see that you have a 4.0, you're, you're more likely to get a job than if you have a 2.0. So um, just make sure you know the materials for the exam. That's huge. And there's no sense. If you're not sure about something, ask. That's, that's the main thing. So those are really my four like tips or my process, I would say. Um, this is what I've done, again, through my accounting bachelor's degree and through certifications. Currently, as an MBA, we don't have a lot of tests. A lot of our stuff is like pre presentations or projects. So I don't have to use this quite as much. Um, but still, if I was going to do a test today, this is a, exactly what I would follow. So I hope that helped you guys. I hope that answered your questions. I know a couple people have asked me for study tips for accounting and these are really what I've done. Um, a lot of like terms and stuff, you're not really, um, you're not really going to be tested on terms. Like you'll obviously know how, you'll need to know how to like work certain things, work certain problems, but I don't really remember having a ton of multiple choice questions. The majority of it, it was like working a cash flow statement or working an income statement and you don't really need terms for all of that. So um, I hope that answered your guys' questions. If you have any other questions or if you have any other um, video ideas that you want to know about accounting or anything else, just leave those in the comments down below. All right, thanks guys, bye.